Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Basketball 10. And today we're going up against the Georgia Southern Eagles. And we are ranked 15 in the nation. And this is the opening game of the season. Alan Godfrey is definitely one of those players that we got to watch. And you guys see we got our senior, a senior, and another senior. And Ben Mason is that sophomore starting. And you guys are probably wondering, j Rab, what happened with the um, Face Camp Fridays, huh? You promised. But uh, the thing is, I didn't see enough votes. Now, I really want to see a lot more people voting on the polls. Because if I see 12 people liking the video, yet I only see like 7 people voted for the whole week, that doesn't add up. And yes, I did only put the poll out for 2 days of this week. But the thing is, when I put it out for the first time in the video, it was at the... I mentioned it at the end, but the link was still in the description, and yet nobody went to it. So... Uh, that's, I think that's a problem. So if you guys really want to have an effect of what games I play, this is the chance to do it. So, honestly, I really want you guys to vote more. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I didn't put it out yesterday. Because I felt like almost no one voted. And if no one voted, then what's the point of me even putting out the video? Because nobody's going to watch it. Because they're like, oh, that, why? So, instead... I will be putting the poll in today's video so you guys can go vote today for next Friday's video, okay? But in the meantime, you guys are watching some Hofstra Dynasty right now. And, ooh, Ben Mason, not Ben Mason, but Mike Yura commits the foul on Brian Ramsey. And he'll be going to the line. And the craziest thing happened today, guys. I got my second acceptance letter from UNC Wilmington. You guys are probably like, Jordan, that doesn't make sense. And didn't you already tell us that you got accepted? I did already get accepted. I did, okay? I already got accepted. But there was a address mix-up, so I had to send them my correct address to get a letter sent to me. So they sent one earlier this week. Then they sent another one today. And, you know, there wasn't any, sli there wasn't any differences except they gave me a different sticker. Uh, but that's it, honestly. So, you know, congratulations to myself. I got accepted twice. So, you know, double the fun. Yeah, but you guys see, Georgia, Georgia Southern is putting up a fight against us, man. This is supposed to be like a warm-up game. And these guys are really, really fighting. And one thing I really noticed playing this game is we have a lot of guard depth. And I really like that because we got a lot of guys who come on the floor and just dribble the ball. But we end up going three with three guards a lot because we only have one small forward. And when it comes to our forward play, we got to play Damian Hastings and Ben Mason. And Dennis Meyer commits the foul. So that means Tim Crawford's going to the line. And I did play most of this season already. And one thing I do notice is that since we don't have a lot of depth at that forward spot, we only have four forwards on the team. Well, five if you count Tim. If we get into foul trouble... That is going to be a problem because I actually did try to play on 20-minute quarters. And, oh, my God, it was the most difficult thing I could have ever done because it's too many fouls. It's way too many fouls. So I had to t literally turn down the foul frequency because it was almost ridiculous. It, it was disgusting how it was getting played out there. And you guys know the college game you guys see nowadays always goes into the double bonus. I really don't like that because it makes it very boring to watch. And teams that thrive off of getting free throws, like Hofstra, I hate to say, that's how they win games. And Jared Hinton with a nice dunk there. So I'd really love to see a change. I mean, women's basketball went to four quarters. So I think that those um, fouls reset after each quarter. If not, I am wrong. But you guys see, we, were, we broke out into a lead. 39-26, to 26, man. They had to call a timeout. Georgia Southern, they don't know what hit them. That's the lead we need. And that is not going to go down as a good good bucket the clock expired and also what I noticed with this team is we shoot a lot more outside shots and Ben Mason is he is not progressing the way I really wanted him to I he averaged 12 points a game last year 
I think this guy could be averaging 20 points. He's not even averaging anything close to that. And, you know, defensively, we are definitely stopping Georgia Southern. It's just free throws. And our bench, you guys know our bench is the best bench in the nation. Our bench could come out here and do things, okay? Oliver Goodwin could start sometimes. So can James Poe. We could get Tyson Chambers off the bench, make some buckets. We could get Greg Wheeler off the bench, make some buckets. Jared Hinton, Shaka Wimberly. Like, that's what we love to do. But this senior class that we're losing this year, man, it's going to be insane because we're losing two of our forwards, all right? Two big men. We're losing a small forward, right? And we're losing a point guard. But I'm not concerned about the point guard. I'm concerned about the big man, all right? Because in our recruiting, we're recruiting these two uh, centers, and we're recruiting two centers and two small forwards. Now, that's pretty hard and because the centers are two-star centers. So, I really don't care at this point. If I can get a center, I need one. Because next year, I'll only have two, two like, big men. And that's going to be Shaka and Ben Mason. So, they're going to have to be playing the entire length of games unless we go with a four-guard setup or a small ball setup with a, a small forward playing the four. I don't have a problem with that. But small ball is definitely going to be the key next year. And that's something I'm kind of worried about. And you guys see right there, man. We're knocking down threes. That's how. That's the game we play. We shoot a lot of threes. We get those buckets. But Georgia Southern, don't count them out yet. This team, they are very resilient. I was really having a problem, like, running away with this game. I mean, Georgia Southern, they, they would not stop. They wouldn't. They just would not stop. And, you know, I like competitive, competitiveness like that. I really do. I really do. But you guys see, we just start, we went on a roll and they couldn't stop us. Even though they get that layup right there. You see the score. We're up by 22 points. But oh no. Rowe gets the and one. Brian Ramsey committing the foul. So Damian Rowe at the line. Three for six. Doesn't knock down the free throw as Tim Crawford corrals that one. So Damian Hastings racing down the court. Gets the layup to go. I thought he was going to get that whistle blown, but uh, they didn't call it, so it's whatever. We're still in the lead. We're still up by 20. That's exactly what we need right there. So, Brian Ramsey handling the ball. He's going to pass it out to James Poe, knocking down a three. And the thing I love with Brian Ramsey, man, he, he just, I like the way that he progressed. If you guys remember that second season with Hofstra, he did not get a lot of playing time. He was the backup. He didn't get a lot of playing time. He didn't score a lot. His sophomore season, same spick, all right? Same spiel. He didn't get a lot of playing time. Oh, Shaka. Oh, Shaka. Shaka. Oh, my God, man. Shaka Wimberly. Goodness gracious, man. And also what I got scared of in, in this game is I'm so scared of people transferring that I am forced to give people garbage time. I'm I'm forced to give them garbage time because if I don't, I feel like they're going to transfer the same way that uh, Jamal Whitehead did. And that's what I hate about the game. Even with, uh, I forgot his name, but he transferred to Georgia State and I redshirted him. I redshirted him. Why couldn't he just like just chill? I don't know. Bakari Finney. Bakari Finney would have been a definitely a vital part to this team, but then he left after a redshirt year? Are you kidding me? He would have been a junior at this time, playing for us, and that would have helped us out with depth at that um uh, big man spot, but no, no, he wants to go and transfer on us. That's OD, but yeah, we're going to have a great season. You guys see, this is, oh my God, Georgia Southern at the buzzer. But that's not going to do anything as we do come out of here with an 89 to 68 victory. And Tim Crawford, he had 13 points and 3 blocks. It was a very balanced game for the whole team. I mean, that's what I like. These five guys on the court, six if you're counting uh, James Poe, those six can all score for 20 points. All of them have capabilities of scoring 20 points points and that's what I love about these players you guys see it's a very balanced game Ben Mason obviously not playing up to the ability I believe he can and Brian Ramsey a great bounce back game as he tore his Achilles last year now he came back with vengeance and you guys see Shaka with uh, nine points but anyway he's been another J-Rod video remember to like comment subscribe and peace